Hi everyone, I am Manasa, and today I have with me Bharat, Rachna, and Arhan. A lot of you might be having questions about the IM Tech program, and today we are here to answer some of the most commonly asked questions by IM Tech aspirants. Let's start with ACADs, placements, and alumni. Rachna, why don't you start? Yeah, um, I was talking about academics uh, and the professors we have here. Uh, almost all of the professors have uh, PhDs from great universities across the world, and uh, so and they are very approachable. Uh, we can go to them anytime with not just uh, uh, the courses that they are teaching. Uh, we can go to them about in general uh, career advice, academic advice, and they also help us in getting uh, uh, referrals for few, uh, higher educations uh, because they have such great uh, connections across the world. Um, and uh, talking about uh, the two branches uh, we have here, CSE and EC. There is so much of overlap uh, between CSE and EC that uh, CSE students can pursue uh, uh, courses of EC and same the other way. Uh, I guess being an EC student, Haran would have uh, more to share about the EC program. Uh, so when it's normally asked about EC, uh, people either ask uh, if, if they're interested in core EC or mainly if they want to uh, pursue software later. In either case, um, if you're interested in core ECE, I think uh, this institute has one of the uh, best curriculum uh, designed, uh, industry designed curriculum, and uh, all professors here have uh, good connections in the industry. So if you're in, into core ECE, I think this is the place for you. Also, some people uh, prefer to shift to software later. And the curriculum here is such that for the first two years, you have almost every course, uh, both the fields have uh, common courses and whatever you're taught in the first two years is sufficient for you to help you get a software career in, into software career later. Uh, also, since uh, it's an uh, integrated master's program, you will be leaving with a post-grad degree. So the specializations offered here uh, are vast in the sense that you have core, uh, core EC, you'll uh, be able to specialize in VLSI, you have core CS. You can even do artificial intelligence and machine learning regardless of whether you're in CSE or EC. So I think uh, that's, uh, that's pretty good here. Now, uh, Bharat, could you tell them about alumni and startup culture? Uh, so one thing that IIIT we can take its pride is for its alumni base. Though we have a small headcount compared to other institutes, the quality subsides over it. So we have our alumni looking after us all around the year, for, be it for placements, mentorship, or even for personal guidance. And also we have two actively working chapters, both in United States and also the Europe, where people are part of big organizations or even have their own established startups. Like every year we see a lot of news regarding IIITB alumni getting huge fundings, Z-scale fundings. So alumni here are just like our guardians who look after us for everything, like be it for placements or there are also alumni who come and interact with us daily, telling us how our lives are going, especially in college, because they going through everything, they get a hang of all the problems of our students too. So this is something that is really good with alumni. And also coming to placements from our alumni side, I guess Mansa, you can throw light on that too. Yeah, Triple uh, IIITB has always had 100% uh, placements. IM Tech students have been placed in some of the best companies with great salaries. The IIITB placement office helps IM Tech students to get a summer internship after their fourth year and then a six-month internship in their final semester, followed by full-time employment. IM Tech students also have an option of choosing between thesis under a college professor or external professor and industry internship for the six months in their last semester. Uh, a lot of students would have had questions regarding uh, scholarships. IIITB offers both need-based and merit-based scholarships. Along with this, IM Tech students who qualify GATE are eligible to receive the AICT scholarship of rupees 12,000 per month uh, during their final year. Uh, this year, uh, there's also a new scholarship scheme that has been introduced. The top 20 girls, based on their JE mains rank, get a tuition fee waiver during their first semester. So now let us also talk about hostel and the other facilities available here. Why don't uh, Arant and Mansa start with respect to hostels? 
girls hostel is really good both in terms of safety and cleanliness girls get single rooms right from their first year uh, the rooms are uh, well lit and very spacious along with this every floor has a common room for girls to get together uh, and girls also have uh, an in-house pantry gym and washing machine facilities Arhan, would you like to tell us about the boys' hostel? Uh, so, in terms of cleanliness, uh, the boys' hostels are clean. Uh, the washrooms are washed daily. Rooms are cleaned regularly. Uh, we get hot water to bathe every day. Uh, the rooms. Uh, so, in the first two years, boys get triple sharing rooms, and from third year onwards, uh, we get our single rooms. Now, uh, a lot of people might think that uh, triple rooms is. Uh, like some that should not be there we should get single rooms but honestly triple rooms is one of the best thing that happened to me here uh so we get play, uh, we get a big room all of us all and it's not only three people like 10 people can come and sit together we talk that's how bonds are made and uh, i i feel that for people like me who it's the first time you've ever been to a hostel in your life having people around you is uh, something that is really good and uh, now uh Also, uh, uh, we have uh, Wi-Fi. Our hostels are fully Wi-Fi equipped, and uh, there's a laundry service that's there. Uh, uh, there's a person who'll take your basket, wash the clothes for you, dry them, and give it back to you. So that that is there uh, now. Uh, Man, somebody like to tell something about the mess. Ah, uh, triple ITK mess is really good. The food is very hygienic. Uh, it's very healthy and tasty. Uh, the food ava- the, there is both North Indian and South Indian food available. There is separate section for uh, Jain students where uh, Jain food is available. Uh, the menu is decided by students and it's changed quite frequently. So we do get a lot of options. Uh, Rachna, why don't you tell us about the uh, safety for girls on campus? Even though the number of girls on campus is uh, less than the number of boys, uh, we have a tightly knit co- girls community here. Uh, I remember that there have been many times when I've gone to my seniors' rooms at any point of the day or night and uh, talked to them. Just uh, sat there and talked to them about anything and everything. Uh, but talking about the safety at uh, the hostel, we have twenty four seven security guards uh, always there at the hostel. Uh, but that does not mean that uh, we have more restrictions. or anything like that uh, the campus is uh, very equal in the sense of uh, restrictions that are there for girls and boys uh, i think as a icc uh, student member bharat would uh, talk more about it so building up on what rashna just told uh, we have an internal complaints committee here which makes sure that the campus is a safer place like for everyone which includes boys and girls then talking about the ragging culture we have no ragging culture at all in triple it bangalore i would say that the seniors here are really cool by cool i meaning that they know everything that's happening and building about what arhan told to we have a very big hostel and the students get along very easily irrespective of batch i remember being in my seniors room more than my friends rooms too so this is a type of friendship we have here like there's no ragging at all but they are very friendly interactions like even in sports we get along well so there's nothing such as ragging here and you can come here very happily and then talking about campus life why don't uh, mansa you talk about the various clubs and committees we have over here college life here is always very active because of the many clubs and committees that are there here everything in triple itb is almost almost everything here is managed by students we have a lot of committees uh, like placement committee which helps the placement office in smoothly conducting placements then we have the alumni committee that helps to connect with the alumni we have the food committee that helps to make the menu and we have a lot of committees like this apart from this we also have a lot of technical and cultural clubs we have cultural clubs like music club art club dance club debate club etc uh, we also have a lot of technical clubs here uh, we have the coding club robotics club and software development club if students have any interests they are free to start an own club or committee of their own too uh, arhan why don't you tell us about the fests in college uh, we have technical fests and cultural fests uh, talking about cultural fest we have infinite that's the biggest cultural fest of our college uh, it's completely student planned and student run and uh, people we have different events people from around the country come and perform uh, in technical fest we have uh, synergy that is the tech, annual tech fest of our college we also have rise that is research innovation and entrepreneurship 
and RMIT, that's a math conference, which again caters to research. Uh, TEDx, uh, IIIT Bangalore is also there, which is conducted annually. Uh, so basically, there are events that take place throughout the year, and uh, you're kept busy. Uh, uh, why don't we talk about sports, uh, Bharat? I would say that we have a really good sporting culture here at IIIT Bangalore. We have a very well-equipped volleyball court, basketball court. There are two newly built badminton courts, TT court, and a relatively small cricket and football ground to play with. So people here, after the classes, come out, play sports. In fact, in the first year, you are also uh, mandated to take part in a physical education class. So you can join in any team you want to join with. For example, there are coaches for volleyball, basketball and table tennis. So we also go to other colleges for taking part in their sports fest. And also we have our own sports fest, which Rashna can talk about. So sports here is something, a part of your curriculum too. So like this is something you used to get relief from your academic work or even enjoy, make bonds. So Rachna, now you can talk about the sports fest we have yeah. here. Yeah, adding to the uh, sports facilities we have, we also have uh, uh, gyms which are there in uh, girls hostel and boys hostel. We also have a trainer here. So uh, there are a lot of students who are involved in the gym activities. Um, talking about the sports fest, we have uh, uh, Spandan which is annually conducted. Uh, Spandan is for all the college uh, students and the alumni. Uh, so, uh, Spandan uh, is a really festive occasion, you can say. Uh, it is organized uh, and uh, organized by the students. And we have all the uh, sports uh, that are there here conducted, including esports and uh, even things like chess and carom. Uh, and if you are interested in any other sports, they could also be included. Uh, so uh, apart from that, we also have Umang, which is an inter-college uh, sports event where uh, colleges from across the uh, country come and uh, participate uh, in the sports fest. Apart from these, we also have uh, uh, regular sports events uh, like uh, IIITB Premier Leagues. Uh, we, uh, and events like these happen across the year almost every month. Let us talk about something we all had in our minds when we were joining and I'm sure you guys would have now. Uh, Mansa, why don't you talk about the higher studies uh, opportunities that we have after IM Tech? Yeah, a lot of students will be having this question uh, as to after IM Tech, can we still do, uh, can we still pursue an MS degree abroad? Yes, you can. In fact, uh, the additional year of IM Tech, in fact, proves as an advantage because the additional year means more projects, more internships and greater research experience. Uh, and a lot of students do consider PhD as an option after finishing their IM Tech program. So yes, higher studies is definitely an option that's open. Uh, Ratsna, you're, you're not a Bangalorean, but now you've been staying in Bangalore for the past uh, three, four years. How do you find Bangalore? Like, what's your uh, <laughs> opinion on that? Uh, of course, the first uh, point when it comes to Bangalore is it's great weather, as you can see. Um, and uh, being in Bangalore, as uh, uh, Bangalore is the IT hub of India, uh, we have many IT industry, uh, companies here. So that is a really great plus point uh, for us. And uh, so in your third or fourth year, whenever you get an internship, you don't have to go around searching for PGs. You can just stay in uh, the campus during your summer and work uh, on your internship. And uh, there is ample connectivity from Bangalore to any part of India or even the world. Uh, so you get frequent flights or trains or buses to your home city. Uh, so that's really a good point. A question that uh, we frequently see is uh, about the campus size. So Arhant, what is your take on this? Uh, I think that a small campus is a really good thing. Uh, first of all, there's easy access. Your hostel is right next to your uh, academic block. So you wake up five minutes before class and you're still in class on time. Uh, then, because it's uh, small and the number of people are less, it's a closely tied uh, community. We all know each other. Like my seniors, they're all my seniors, but we talk frequently, we meet frequently. And 
uh, it just feels uh, more like home then uh, some people might say that because it's small you won't get your private space or your uh, like a peaceful time but there's nothing like that uh, there's always places where you can sit you can enjoy you can sit quietly and i think all in all it's uh, it's a good thing uh, now uh, bharat uh, another question which people have is because it's triple id bangalore and it's all over the internet that's hectic can you please talk about that uh, i would say that i thoroughly enjoyed my four years last four years of stay at bank triple id bangalore you just need to sort out your priorities and work for it for example if you attend your classes and are regular at your academic work this ample of time for you to enjoy be it for playing sports partying around bangalore like rachna told or maybe you can also get into new clubs and committees like she told like there are many clubs and committees here music club dance club you can start your own club and also there are many events conducted all around the year like apart from the technical fest there are also dj nights karaoke nights so you can come here do anything you want you'll have a proper proper college life it's not like a hectic life so this is something that you can talk about your college life for example arhant and rachna can talk how your normal day can is all about every day uh, so you get up you go to classes uh, usually in a day you'll have uh, say two to three classes and that too they're not back to back so you have breaks in between uh, it's it's uh, it's pre- pretty spread out i'll say then in the afternoons and evenings uh, we all meet at the courts we play we meet at the gym and uh, you can uh, sometime we take out to study say an hour or so and then at night again we're all sitting in with each other just talking and sometimes watching movies <laughs> that's what my day looks like and i enjoy it and i guess that's the same with everyone yeah, right yeah, yeah totally Absolutely. totally agree with you on that arhan the years that we have spent here are one of the best years in our life yeah